guys, what's up? It's Jonathan with One Big Impact. So this is day three of the One Big Impact seven day challenge. I know it's kind of a quick challenge, but I'm gonna be trying to kind of quick also with my video today. I wanted to talk about something that comes up a lot in the fitness industry or the weight loss industry or trying to get healthier industries. That's TDEE, Total Daily Energy Expenditure, and BMR, Basal Metabolic Rate. Let's go get started. Basal metabolic rate means if I laid in bed and did absolutely nothing at rest, my organs and my vital functions would need this many calories to be able to survive. Mine happens to be 2,104 for my basal metabolic rate. That means doing nothing, I will sustain that body type if I did nothing, okay? To breathe, to uh, uh, pump my heart, my blood, my organs, my liver, intestines, all that, 2,104 calories. Now, total daily energy expenditure, TDEE, which is a little bit more important, will be basal metabolic rate, which is 65 to 75% of your TDEE, and then thermal effect from food, from food eating specifically, meaning you consume the food, 10% of your total daily energy expenditure is going to be made up by whatever it takes your body to digest and process that food. The next thing is physical activity. That's going to be 10 to 30%. So all of those things are going to the BMR, thermal effect of food, and your uh, physical activity come together to, to give you basically your maintenance calories, okay? We don't need to know crap about BMR. We don't need to be knowing crap about TDEE. The only thing you need to know that total daily energy expenditure means maintenance calories. That's it. That's all you need to know. You need to find out what works best for you, okay? If you think you can go in a 500 calorie deficit a day, technically speaking, according to the theory or whatever, somebody's already arguing with me about it. I know they are out there, <laughs> out there in Facebook or YouTube land. Um, if, you, if you were a 500 calorie deficit per day for a week, 3,500 calories would be a pound of fat that you would technically lose. And that doesn't always work because your body adapts to it. Now, keep in mind, I think 500, 250 to 500 deficit per day is a really good way. Now, check out in the description below because I will put a TDEE or maintenance calories calculator. Now that'll be a link to another website. It's not my website or anything, but it'll be able to give you a basis of what to understand. Now, if you're following Atkins or if you're following keto or paleo or South Beach diet or Weight Watchers or Jenny Craig or any of that, all of those diets or lifestyles or whatever you want to consider them, they are all working and successfully working because they create a caloric deficit, most. I would say even if you're counting your macros, if you're wanting to be in a deficit, you would just release your macros, your carbs, your, your sugars, or your carbs, your proteins, and your fats can all stay the same usually, but you would just switch the items a little bit to be able to drop those calories down. So you would say instead of Hamburger, I would eat chicken because it's leaner, it has less calories or whatever, you know what I mean? So keep that in mind. But they all work basis off of a caloric deficit, okay? All successful things take time. Remember, don't go on no crash diet, don't say, my maintenance calories are 2,000 a day, I'm gonna drop down to 700 and I'm gonna lose weight. No, it's not gonna happen. First of all, your body's gonna go into shock. If anything, it's gonna gain weight. It doesn't know what's happening. It's like fight or flight. It says, okay, crap, I'm not getting enough food. I don't know what to do. I'm gonna shock myself and just hold on to everything. I'm not even gonna pee, okay? So keep that in mind. We, uh, we only have a little bit of time here. The next thing is, please incorporate, no matter what you're doing, remember, you can go into a higher caloric deficit by increasing your physical activity two, three, four days a week, whatever you wanna do. If you wanna get gung-ho, five days a week, I don't care. But always stay active. Muscle burns more fat and calories than fat does, or more calories than fat does, okay? Lean mass. 
So maybe you don't see your body changing. Your body is changing. Stop looking at the scale. Start measuring yourself. Use these things right here. These things. I'll put one in the description below. Think about your body through your mind as far as your body composition. Not always the scale. That's not always what's happening. Muscle is denser. It doesn't weigh more, but it's denser. Fat takes up more room, okay? If you're, if you're big and overweight, you're this big. If you're, if you're ripped and overweight, you're this big. You know what I mean? So think about how people look and their composition. Ask people what they weigh and stuff, and you might be surprised. You guys, I hope you guys like our video. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe to our channel. If you have any uh, questions, please put them in the comment section below. Have a beautiful day. Let's kick some freaking booty this week. By the way, I've been doing really good about not cussing in my videos. Let me know if you like that below. You guys, be stronger than your excuses, and remember to spread love, not hate. Peace. Day three, sucker. <laughs> Say bye, Jimmy. Bye. Oh, shit. You're going down. You're going down. Don't panic. It's okay. It's okay, Jimmy. It's okay. Say bye. Say bye. I am the healthy goat. Drink your water.